Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's that time again. We have a new box from a new country, which means a lot of candy and a good fair bit of judgment from everybody that watches the video. This box came from thousands of miles away from the land down under Australia from our friends Mike and Beth, uh, who live in Queensland, right? Carnes. Well, it's in Queensland. Yes. We'll do a drive-thru lesson <laughs> later. <laughs> so, I'll take it before. There's someone next to you. There's someone next to me. So, oh. <laughs> <laughs> we have a guest. So if you want to find out exactly what's in here and who this is, just stick around. So we're, this time we're a little bit different. We're going to take everything out of the box first because, we are, this because is always honestly, kind of not knowing what's in the layers has been driving me crazy for previous videos. So. We're gonna pause real quick. We're gonna unload the box, put it all out here in front of us, and then we're gonna try things. We may have some guests pop in. We're at my parents' for Christmas. They're over there, off camera, and my dad's best friend's gonna show up. So hold on tight, guys. <laughs> it's gonna be another long video. Yeah, Let me just tell brace you. yourself. Yeah, so brace yourself. It's gonna be another long video. It's so much stuff to try. More than we thought was, was even in the box. So. It always happens that way. But we should probably introduce the stranger sitting to my left. This is Jeff. He is, how long have you known Jimmy? Long time. At least 15 like years. 15 years? Long time years. Yeah. So he, originally from New York, it lives in Iowa, and he came down to join us for Christmas and his birthday. So we thought this would be a perfect time to introduce him to the channel, because he's a big fan, and rope him into trying lots and lots and lots of goodies. I have to start with this, you guys. I am obsessing. So he is a cute little bear. Okay, I thought he was a koala bear, but he's actually a teddy bear. Look, he's a teddy bear in a koala bear outfit. He even has eucalyptus. I love this, and it's going to be on my desk and in every possible video from now on because it's so cute. I loved stuffed animals when I was a kid. I can see my parents' face without even having to look over there. And no, I have like five of those pet nets full of stuff, so. This is right at my alley. So. A what? A pet net? A pet net. So, okay. Fun fact. A pet net is a net that like you put in the corner of your room and you can put... Thank you. Oh, it's like a hammock no? for... A hammock for... Uh... Stuffed animals too have a stuffed fire truck. Yeah, no. get with it. A stuffed fire truck. Yeah. You a stuffed fire truck. I have a stuffed, stuffed fire truck. That's kind of amazing. I have a confession. So, <laughs> we got this box before we went on the Princess Cruise that you guys are either currently watching or have already seen. I don't know when we're posting that yet. But, um, they sent us homemade dried mango. You guys know that's kind of my favorite thing ever. I may have eaten it. She told me to put it in the fridge, and so instead of putting it in the fridge, I just took it with me <laughs> and snacked on it and forgot to share. I just found out just now like three weeks later that she ate all the mango, basically, and I didn't try it. It was delicious. It must be really good, good for her to eat all it the mango. It was so good. <laughs> I don't know how much is left at the house, so I'll give him what I haven't eaten and finished. I'm pretty sure there's one or two pieces. That was good. Two kinds of mango, delicious, homemade by Beth, in Tom and Jerry bags. So I enjoyed that very much. That was really good and very sweet of her to send me, so thank you. So now, I guess since Jeff's our guest of honor, maybe have him try something first. Yeah! Pick your poison, you pick, Jeff. Pick your poison, Jeff. Cadbury Caramel Koala with a really cool little cartoon koala in him. I'm anxious to try it. It's by Cadbury. Did you hear that here? He's gonna have a New York accent. I love it. He doesn't make fun of your accent anymore. What? He does make fun of my accent. Comes in a little tiny package here. By size. Hang on, we're gonna pass them down so we all get one. You gonna try to get it? Yeah, we, you, okay, that's the rule. Let me educate you real quick. The rule is, you eat together, okay? You can smell the items, you can read the items if you want to, but we all share together. So these are our little packages we're going in for. You get a little koala. Cool. Okay. Carmelo koala, dairy milk. Yes, you know, I always notice this too. Koala, so, look at the smile he has. Look how cute. I always notice that the other, but you notice it's a little different color. That's the most chocolate is outside the U.S. That's so without the that. chemicals. Yeah, so let's so give, give it a whirl and try. Real okay, chocolate. ready? Yeah. Oh, it's caramel inside. Mm-hmm. That's pretty good. Caramel too. Mm-hmm. Is it a little sweet? Never too sweet. <laughs> mm. Pro Good tip. Shot. If you eat the whole thing, you are never going to make it through. <laughs> okay. Probably <laughs> a good thing there, but yeah. 
Just real talk. <laughs> put the other half out of frame and eat it later when there's no judgment. <laughs> All right, so my mom is being our trusty assistant off camera here. Our they, PA? Is that they she's our PA. PA. She'll love that. They sent us some Narada tea. What's interesting about this is this is actually grown in Australia about 45 minutes away from where they live. So we're really pumped and excited to try this. It says, Narada tea is a natural source of antioxidants and contains no artificial sugars, colors, I'm sorry, no artificial flavors, colors, or preservatives. It's a Rainforest Alliance certified. That's cool. So that's really super cool. So we're actually going, we're going to hand this off frame to my mom so she can go ahead and pop it in some tea and start steeping. So It's it's black tea. Yeah. It's in here, it's black tea. Okay, so Jimmy, you go next. Um, since we have that out, I think I might do this. This we found these while we were in Bali, yeah. and we love them. Can't probably find them in the, in the states, but Tim Tams. They sent a dark chocolate one. I'm really super They're, excited. This about. one, they have so many variations of Tim Tams, but there's a certain way to eat these, and we'll show you guys how to do that. So we're gonna open both of these. Yeah. This one is dark chocolate and sticky raspberry flavor, and it's a slam. I've never heard of that. I don't know slam? what that means. This is a double coat, so it must be a double double helping of coating on the outside of the Tim Tams. So we have two glasses. Jimmy and I will share one and we'll let Jeff have one. So there is a special way that you eat Tim Tams. So we actually have milk here already from my trusty assistants here. Oh, they are. There's more chocolate on those. There are more chocolate on those. Holy cow. Okay. There's your milk. Take a, take a Tim Tam. We'll each try each. So we'll start with the double coat. How about that? I'll take a double coat. Jimmy, you take one. All right. You want to try it? Yeah. So now here's what you do. There's a special way to do this. So you bite one corner, so like your your top corner here, bite that off. Top corner. And then you do the opposite corner, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then there's no day two way to do this, so just so you guys know, hang on. I chew it up, so I'm getting it in. You end up eating the whole thing, so. I take it here, dunk it in your milk, suck milk through it, and then shove it in your mouth. Mmm. It's so soft in the middle. Mmm. Can you like it? That's good, right? Mm hmm. That's so good. The outside stays intact, but the inside turns like the best possible, like milk and cookie soft. And slime makes the best. I'm not a milk fan. That was absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. It's so messy. Slam it, Jimmy. Go. I'll cut off the plan. Seriously, bite it. So that's how you eat Tim Tams, guys. And they're amazing. Oh, the double coat is really good. <laughs> My parents are about to go do it in there. <laughs> so the dark chocolate one. Oh, this is so good. I'm telling you. Has less. Guys, Australians are geniuses for creating this cookie. This has raspberry and I'm not excited about it. Let's honestly, I'm just gonna eat it and then eat some milk after or drink some milk. Do you the pink? Inside there? Mmm. The cookies are are they uh, uh, they're better than Oreos. They're better but they than They stand up. I mean, aren't they? It's just the flavor, the, just a perfect amount of like softness perfect. in the front. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Not sweet. Not too sweet. Alright, I'm going in. Mm -hmm. You guys sit there and eat them if you want to. I'm gonna do it right. Alright, you guys sit there and eat them. Alright, I'm gonna do it right. That raspberry, does it work with that too? Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I guess you're eating sushi over there, slipping noodles at the... Can't help it. Mmm. It's so good. Tim Tams are all men. And the raspberry... It's chewy. It's thick and sticky and chewy, so it's almost like a gummy bear, so it stays it's, attached even with the milk. It's softer. Mm -hmm. Something. You guys are going to want to try those. <laughs> wow. Okay, so what we forgot is the rating system. So what would you rate the koala, the koala chocolate we tried first? Like one to ten. Eight. eight is pretty solid. Eight. What would you do the Tim Tams? One to ten. Oh, that's a nine. That's all. Well, that's a hard ten for me. <laughs> there's yeah. There's uh, quality. I would probably say maybe a seven. I like caramel, so mm -hmm. um, it's easy to me. Chocolate. I can never get used to chocolate because it's just because of the, we're so used to the sugary, crappy mm -hmm. stuff here in the states. Yeah. But it's good. I know it's better. So I'd say seven. Tim Tams. Ten. Ten. My, one of my favorite cookies. Entire world. All right, I gotta go ten. I'll you got to. Those it, are it so was really good. You can save it. You can save your ten. 
What do you think in there? Very safe tin. Tin from my dad. Actually, the thing about, about tin cans is they're actually pretty decent price. They're cheap. They are. They're cheap. And you can sometimes, if you go to World Market and some of those places, you can find some. So, Tim Tams, tin all around. <laughs> yeah, so, like some my dad's like, oh my god, I can only eat the whole thing. I'm not a big fan of the raspberry ones, but. No, my mom doesn't like raspberry. Yeah, but they're the, the ones to try. Is, or I think Oreo. Is the Oreo version, isn't there? I think so. They have lots yeah. of different flavors, guys. I'm so glad they included those. I secretly hoped they would. Being from Australia, I'm really excited about that. Yes. So, whose turn is it to pick? Actually, I think Back it's your Jeff. turn. Back to Jeff. Okay. Red Rock Deli Sweet Chili and Sour Cream Deli Style Potato Chips. Fun fact, this is their favorite potato chip, or crisp, as some people would call it. That's a lot of words. So it's, it's basically... Words. Sweet chili, oh. sour cream, and onion. Or wow. sour cream. That's a lot of flavor. Does it have... Oh, does it smell? Uh, yes. It smells, smells better than hot. Aren't you glad you chose to do this? You're going to yes, be miserable. Yes. Through all the full, fullness. Ooh, ooh. So it has yes. There's pictures of garlic. There's pictures of chili. Sour cream. And sour cream. What, what also looks like sweet and sour sauce on there? Or like chili oil. Chili oil. I need you to hurry up because we're waiting on you. Oh, That's so right. go ahead and go. Catch up. We cheers. Oh. Cheers. Cheers. Excellent crunch. <coughs> <coughs> I think mm. it works. Like mm. the, the sour cream oh, and the man. chili. Oh, that's. Ooh. We need to pass this off, so thank you for looking at that before we give it away. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Five. I did the whole bag of that. Mm. Mm -hmm. What do you like, rate? Oh my gosh. What do you like rate that one? Kettle chips. But they have a little bit of kick. A it's powder. like spicy sour Chip cream powder. and onion with a hint of chili. Yeah. So exactly. Kettle chips are really hard, hard crunch. That was an easy crunch, nice mm. soft chip. Almost like a crisp. It's amazing. Who makes them? 10 plus. Red Deli? Red Rock Deli. Red Rock Deli. They said those are their favorite chips. <laughs> I see why. 10 plus plus. This gets Can the hand. Can we do an 11? Yes. It gets the hand? It gets the hand. Let us do it. Okay. I, I give it that an 11. Like, our scale is not high enough for how good that is. Very good chip. Do they have other flavors? All the flavors? Sea salt, <gasps> roasted garlic, oh. rosemary, and thyme. Wait, they're actually, they're, they're sweet actually, potatoes. Actually, from New Zealand. Those are sweet potato crisps. Blue Art Foods, Aqua, New Zealand. Holy cow. They're friends. I'll show you We're New Zealand friends. We're moving. Oh, man, you remember how I told you pro tip and I'm ignoring my own pro yeah, tip this right is... now? Oh my god. Pro tip's out the window on this one. <laughs> okay. You know what my observation is so far? Hmm. I don't want to upset the Canadians and the Brits, but so far, <coughs> we have not liked anything. Just wait. But okay. So far, it's tens Let's do a little precursor here that I think both you guys don't like black licorice. Oh no, it's about to get real in a minute because I There's don't like black licorice. There's a lot black of black licorice thing that's a quintessential Australian treat is licorice, especially black licorice. But she so. included some red for me. Actually, for that, I'm cutting it. I'm going to go with this right now. Sorry, I think I'm next. <laughs> Jeff, Amanda, Jimmy, thank you. I want to try cherry rape. So this was included because this is Mike's favorite. So we have regular cherry ripe and then we have double dipped cherry ripe. They do a lot of double dip stuff there. The ratio of double dip of things okay tried is quite high. So which do we try? Both of them? Probably both of them. To see the dip, one dip versus two dips. Cleanse my palate of the chili. I thought you'd be, you already taking advantage of. We are already between two dips. But see, I'm nicer than you guys are about stuff like that. I wouldn't say such a thing. I'm not a big cherry fan. Uh, yeah, you're not gonna like. Can so we just bite there. and pass it down? I'm gonna try to wait and hope. I don't know what that tastes like. Mm. Those chocolate covered cherries you get at Christmas. With a oh, little a bit of coconut. 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 Mm -hmm. It's like chocolate covered is cherries. A, is that what a cherry bing is? Are those cherry bings? Are those coconut? I don't know. Are they? That's really good. That's coconut in it. That's good. <laughs> I don't like cherry. My dad likes those for really good. <laughs> I don't like cherry. That's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's really good. That coconut has just a little. Something, something. It was just cherry. It's not overpowered. Yeah. Coconut. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That. I hope you guys can hear him. <laughs> that's really good. 
That's really, really good. That's really good. Let's try the double dipped one. You ready? Oh man. Now I see why it's Mike's. See, Jason is all their favorite. Let's, favorite. let's compare single dip versus. Let's go ahead and take a bite. Let's compare the dipness. Oh wow. That's a lot more dip in there, isn't so it? So there's. Oh yeah, yeah you can see. Definitely it. more. I don't know if you can see that. That may not come out. That may not come out. But it is thicker. It is. It is obviously thicker. Mm -hmm. Crunchier. Crunchier. Uh, Skin outer coating. Unexpected observation. I think I like the regular one better than the double dipped one because I get more of the cherry and coconut. This is more chocolate. I agree. Yeah, more isn't always better. This is good. Yeah. But both, I think I would give both it stellar, one. but mm -hmm. the first one's better. What would you rate them? First and second. Eight and seven. Eight and eight seven. seven. Eight for the first one, seven for the second one. Double dipped. I'm gonna seven. go nine for the first one. And eight for the second one because I would still eat it all. I'm still gonna eat it all. Yeah, <laughs> I'm torn because I, I like cherry and I don't. I, I mean, I don't like cherry, but that with coconut, totally that in my mind. So something, didn't it? I might, I might go with Jeff. I might say eight for the first one, second for the second one. All right, do the licorice and the Keep eyeballing this. So this is something that's really unique. So it's, it's a licorice block. So it's milk chocolate, like a chocolate bar with licorice in the middle of it. Our classic batch, thirty-seven licorice and anise seed chips. For lovers of licorice, this is gonna. This is really gonna hurt us. This is like fear factor. Are you ready? No, actually, in style. I'm here for you. Okay, this is great. I have the water standing by. Mm -hmm. All right. You want? Can you give us a small piece to share? No, you just get your block. Oh. I smell licorice. May the odds be ever in your favor. Right. This one's a really, really full of licorice. So. That's all you. Looks like that. Who makes it? Daryl Lee. Oh, don't smell it. <laughs> oh, I just ah, I like this. I try it. Because <laughs> <laughs> you didn't like it. Right. I'm the whole thing. Oh, it's crunch. It's like crunchy. <laughs> it's interesting. That's a cold fry. What's that mean, Jeff? <laughs> I mean, she doesn't like it. <laughs> How about you? It's really interesting. <laughs> Mom, may I have a napkin tissue, please? Yes. <laughs> Look, guys, this is it's, no. We're gonna eat the rest of it. Yeah. Oh, you suck. Just in case something comes back. No, we're gonna have to make me oh. do it. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> this is. I like it. I like it. Is this? Is that? Here, here's my here's my assumption. Here's my assessment. Like it's chocolate. But it has a really faint licorice taste. It does, it's not overpowering at all. You know that moment when you It could be a lot worse. It's not like the regular Australian licorice you're tasting. Do you taste? It's as a roll. But then again, if you look at, at the whole thing, it's it's <laughs> some parts some parts have more licorice than other other parts. So. <laughs> oh. Look, it wasn't guys. bad, but I'm the never. The chocolate was good. I'm never eating it again. No, it was, I'm done with that. Yeah, it was. I got it down, but that's never. As a black licorice fan, I'm gonna rate it uh, maybe a seven and a half. Uh, two, hard two. I'll give you two points because good chocolate. I think if it was a black dark chocolate, I'd probably two. maybe even give it less because I don't like dark chocolate. But since it's this is a dark chocolate one. one. We're not done here, Jeff. We got like more it? dark chocolate yeah. stuff. Not, not a fan. Oh, you're not either. Oh, okay. I can buy an uh, that's and maybe it's genetic. Okay. Maybe. Well, let's try the tea. Yeah. We'll try to cleanse our palates because it's been steeping. My trusty PA informed us over here. So it comes like it comes like this. Your arm and frame, Dad. That's okay. Like they, the Australian drink your tea just like the English. Do they put milk in it? I don't know. Let us know in the comments. I should have asked them. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't. I mean, let's see if it says something here. Okay. I'm gonna try it because I need something because that black is. It doesn't say. All right. Ooh. That's good. It is good. It's very smooth. Doesn't but it's not bitter. No, like not it's bitter not. It's been steeping for a second, and it's not bitter. The, the tea oh. does does taste different compared compared to like, like Ceylon tea and other teas. Mm -hmm. it, it's where it's grown. But it doesn't taste earthy. Like it's kind of just pure tea. tea I dig that. Like Pretty good. Do you want to try? It? I like it. But it's good. I like it. It's not like Ceylon tea. It's not like it's black tea, but it does have. It's a not bitter though. A different flavor, but it's good. Thumbs mm -hmm. up all the way. What would you rate that one? It's a nine. It's good. 
That is good. What would you rate it? Um, as far as tea as a generalist, I mean, I don't mind if you a black tea kind of guy, but, um, say eight. I, I'm gonna say an eight. For other teas we've had. I'll be eight and a half. I'll go in between the two. Because it's really good. I like it because it's different. It's different. It's a little different. I like it because it's not super bitter. So like, if you want, yeah, I mean, that's, it's not bitter. It's not bitter. Mm -hmm. I like that because black tea is usually really bitter. I can see milk or honey or both going into that. Oh it's yeah. Very Ooh. Yeah. Hmm. There you go. I'm looking at these. These are soft jellies, fruit salad. So it should be interesting. Oh, that fruit was a salad. That. Fruit salad was a similar title of something we had in the British one. But this is less similar from the UK and Australia since you know, their origins are you know, the same. Okay. Most of the people want to Can I pick a pink one? You like you did? Like. Ooh, they have pink and purple and yellow and orange. I should probably pick a different one than you should, and I just. Pick whatever you want. Means of comparison. Ooh. Is there the Chris one in there? They smell yeah, yellow. good. The yellow. Oh, wait. It's perfume. They're oh, super rare. fruity. Oh, wait, fruity. Right? So there's a fruit salad. I'm sure there are probably no artificial colors or flavors, which is most things. America's the, the only ones who does that kind of yeah. thing. And these guys are from Victoria, Australia. They also have an uh, uh, office in. It says keep our planet tidy on the back. Good on you. Crisp apple, ripe raspberry, wild black currant, luscious peach, juicy orange, fresh lemon. I got the currant. Uh, you, you might have, you might be, you might have the currant one, so. I think I have currant. Why are you trading me? No, you want to come here? Oh, yeah, I'm fine with that. Okay. I don't like black licorice, that's it. Alright, alright. Let's give it a whirl. Cheers! Ooh, Ooh this is really chewy. Mm. Yeah. It's good. Yeah, lemon. That's really good. That's like a candy coated gummy bear. It's good. Yeah, it is kind of. It's, it's more, it's not, it's like not the orange slice or anything like that. I don't even see this. Like, look inside. I think you see it. That's good. But it's like, yeah. Like but it's it. not really super sweet. It's good. What do we rate it? Seven. I'm gonna go seven. I'd probably do seven too. I don't know if I want to go. I couldn't eat all that. No, that was that would be really sweet. That'd that'd be a chewy. It's all natural, but it's really sweet. That'd be a chewy thing. Mm hmm I do like it though. It's really tasty. By the way, I just told this ahead of time. We do have Vegemite. It says Vegemite. I've been wanting to try this forever. For we also long have long a time. Vegemite flavored something. Should we try it now? Precursor to see what's what's the kind of taste no, like. Because no, because. I want to try this because they sent me a really nice email when they sent the box and said what was their favorites and what they thought we would really enjoy. This is from Cadbury. It's Dairy Milk Marvelous Creations Jelly Popping Candy Beanies. Well, here's the thing is you're supposed to let it melt in your mouth if you can. And this is Beth's favorite. So I think it's cool. kind of interesting. Go for it. So let's do this with you all. Well, backstory. So we found out while we were doing the, the British taste test that Cadbury in the US is not the same as Cadbury around the world. Apparently, Hershey's contracted, have a contract with Cadbury to make all of their um, chocolate in the States. It's a different formula. Uh, I guess Hershey ended up suing Cadbury, from what I understand, because be Cadbury tried circumventing um, Hershey's to bring their own chocolate in from the United States or from the UK. And so it was part of this big lawsuit. And so now we, uh, the only Cadbury we get in the States is actually made by Hershey, which is kind of bummed because it's a different recipe, different uh, taste and everything. So this will be something that we've not tried, we've probably maybe not tried before. Never. It's a resealable container. There's three little squares I broke for everybody. Ooh, there's stuff, there's stuff in it. Take your poison. Okay, guys, those are either M&M adjacent candies these are kind of like the thing we just or tried. Or the jelly beans. Are they? Are they squishy? Like they're jelly type. This looks like a... That's weird. This is actually made in Tasmania. So mine looks like Eminem. The equivalent of a glass and a half of full cream milk in every 200 grams of Cadbury Dairy Milk milk chocolate. I didn't know that. You guys know that? No, I didn't know that. Hmm. Okay, we're supposed to let this melt in our mouth. Alright, you guys ready? Mm-hmm. Are you good? Mm-hmm. How fast can move that? I think I thought I could do more than that really can. Maybe do like one chunk. Can't don't have a stem now. Sorry, mm -hmm. Beth. <laughs> Stuff's happening. I'm putting it still popping like pop rocks. I have pop rocks in my mouth, I have jelly beans. I want MMs. MMs or gummy bears or something. 
Mm-hmm. Because I'm picking out the different things in there. Woo! Oh, so you have all these different textures? I think you have a crazy. It's rock candy inside of chocolate with chewy With like spiky. little gummies? And like Mmm. I kinda like that. Mm-hmm. I like it. Now Thank that I'm you, over the Harry. chocolate, ooh. Mm-hmm. Yes, Beth. I couldn't let it melt on very This sorry. is for the person, if you want a chocolate bar, but don't know what kind of chocolate bar you want, it's everything everything all in one. So it's like... I still have popping candy back here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You want candy, you can't decide. This mm. is it, this covers all your bases. It says the chewy, has the, the Pop Rocks stuff, the chocolate. Here. I'll put it. It's good though. I like it. I would say that's probably a nine for me. Yeah. Same. Really? Okay. Do they have dark, dark chocolate versions? I will eat milk chocolate, but I'm a dark chocolate fan. If they had that in dark chocolate, that would be lethal in my life. Okay, that's what I'm doing. I'm doing Picky Picky Peanuts. <laughs> that's a funny name. Okay, uh, sweet chili and lime flavored grown Aussie grown peanuts. I want to say that a bit. Aussie grown peanuts. Yeah. Made in Australia from at least 97% Australian ingredients. So hey. My niece's little cool. scissors. Share the love. Oh, we're gonna share the love. There's not a lot of flavor. I mean, a, lot, a lot of smell to them. Can I smell? Oh, I made, made more than I wanted to take, but. I'm gonna smell. <laughs> You're not gonna smell it? If you guys get anything out of them, I probably won't. Sweet chili. I don't smell. Uh-huh, I smell, I smell a little bit of sweet chili. A little, a little chili. chili. Yeah. Ready? Yep. Oh. I taste, I taste the lime. I got ranch dressing at first. So did I. <laughs> did you really? Mm-hmm. There's a little bit of acid. No, a little ranch dressing. That's acid. Not spicy. It's really good. Hmm. We're not too salty. But sweet chili is there. I don't know, lime with the citrus is there. The ranch was just like it. Mm-hmm. Right away. I can eat bag of those. He's so perfect. You let it melt, didn't you? <laughs> Guys, my dad went the distance. <laughs> With the other chocolate, so you can't try peanuts yet. That's good, like, it'd be good, like, bar. bar that would be good bar, like, food with a beer. A beer? Yeah. A cigar. How about Foster's? You know what? So I found out Foster's is actually not made in Australia. They don't sell it in Australia. That's like a distinctly like foreign thing. <laughs> Did you see him realize it's like, <gasps> like his whole yeah. face? I might even show the drink down, down under for beer, but it's not Foster's, I found out. So. Sorry. Those are really good. It's your pick now, Jeff. Can we not do the black licorice again for a hot minute? We're gonna leave that alone. You got, you got, you got to worry about it over there. I know. Oh, this is what Dad was saying earlier. This is local legends beef jerky, nice and spicy. Marinated shrimp and lean Aussie steak. You know what's amazing about what you're doing? Is we didn't YouTube or coach you. You're just doing it. Yeah. I'm so proud. I watch. He watched enough YouTube videos. I watched enough he's YouTube a big, Yeah, he's a big YouTube guy, so he knows, knows the... 35% protein, so it's healthy. It has a, this, oh that's not Australian bag. It looked like a British flag for a second. In the corner. Casino. Part of it. New South Wales. Right there. Yeah, it's, it's their, uh, they're, they're it's got some pepper on it. They're okay. cute little squares. Got a little pepper on it. Nice and spicy. The stuff legends are made of. Does it smell good? Manage chips of lean Aussie steak. I'm ready. In New South Wales as well. A town called Casino. Casino. Yeah. It doesn't smell so bad. I'm just gonna go in. Ooh. Not mm-hmm. Don't smell it, Mom. Mmm. Ted. <laughs> I love beef jerky. It's to me, it's easy to sell. But it has a kick, but mm-hmm. yet it's sweet. I got a nine. It's like spicy sweet. But you gotta really work on it. Mm-hmm. You know what? I'm about to pay him a compliment. We love the beef jerky from Bucky's. That reminds me of a little bit of the Bohemian garlic one. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. A nine and a half. I'll go up a half a point. A nine. It was really good. Nine. Because I don't like salty beef jerky. It's, it's not salty. It's peppery and that's mm-hmm. smooth. It's got sweet and heat. It's not salty at all. No. A lot of jerky is salty and that's great. That's really good. Definite nine and a half. My dad agrees. Mom doesn't like beef jerky. My turn. Has that full filling started yet? No. Really? 
doing pretty good. We're doing our. We're, 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 no, we're pacing ourselves. Now, so now we're I'm waiting pretty. for those chips again. We're gonna go revisit the chip bag. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Um, a Twisties cheese flavor it says life's pretty straight without Twisties. We do one at the same time. So can... Sure. So we got a flaming hot and we got a cheese. This color looks, I mean, flaming hot. It's clearly ripped off from Frito Lay. Mm. Cheetos. But what company like is Cheetos. this? Smith Snack Food Company? Oh, Retro Tim Rabbit, a Pepsi, Pepsi Co. group used in Australia under license. So they use the license of the flaming hot. I guess the flaming hot is going to be the same as flaming hot here. Because, at least in the South, it's, like, everyone it's, loves flaming hot it's Cheetos. It's flaming hot. Yeah. All right. And then, All right. Let's try the cheese first. Looks the same. Almost the same, same color, a little lighter. This piece cheese. Okay, going for it. Mm. Not salty. It's it's like it's like a Cheeto. It has it texture similar to a Cheeto, right? Do you guys agree? Yeah. Same I... kind of crunch. But the, the cheese is weird. But the yeah, the cheese is the dusting of that. The, the dusting is not salty like it usually is here. It doesn't cover your fingers. Is that what it is? It just it's more natural maybe. Yeah, it's right. It doesn't. Corn at the I, end of it. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Tastes great. That's pretty good. I like that. Mm -hmm. What do you give it? So, Ooh. Uh, that's because the problem is we're we're biased because of the cheetos we grew up on. So I'd probably say maybe a six or seven. Six. I mean, I'd, eat, I'd, eat, I'd probably eat the bag. I eat the whole bag, but you get used to the salty. The other flavors. Dusty. I think I'll, I'll do a six. It's yeah. not bad, it's just different for us. It's just our taste buds aren't used to that cheese flavor. Mm -hmm. I'm and curious about that. I probably really love that more. It looks a little different. Look at that. These are legit. Look at the They're kind of pink. These are really not as dark. Red. Can you see that? Aren't they a little red. pink? Yeah. yeah, they're not red. So maybe they won't be. Life's pretty straight without twisties, flame and hot. Oh, limited, limited edition. Took two of them. We got, have to, we got a kick, but there's no overwhelming salt. Mm -mm. And you're not like blow your face Ooh. off. Blow your face off hot. I like those better than the regular flame and hot stuff. Flame and hot spice is there. It's, it's a similar. It's a similar spice. Would you agree? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Similar spice. But again, it doesn't have that salty. I like it's not that. Salty, it's it's, it's, it's salt there, but it just doesn't, it doesn't have the overly seasoned taste. It's a light, it's a lighter spice, but it's still spicy. Very good. What does Dad think? It's good for a front flavor. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And it burns for a minute. They say that the flaming hot Cheetos and stuff in the States will actually kill you. So that's interesting. Yeah. Don't they? Right. Right. There's, there's something in the red dye that's bad really bad for you. Little chocolate, Rocklia Road. Rocklia Road? Rocklia Road? Rocklia Road? That's a big, like, what does it say up here? It's in Rockley. The original and the best. Oh, because it's Daryl Lee Rockley Road. It's Daryl Lee, yeah, so Rockley. Marshmallow, peanuts, and coconut smothered with milk chocolate. Those guys are stinky with that coconut. They are. This is going to be a sleeper. If we didn't read that, we would have been pleasantly surprised because it's from that cherry thing was awesome. Inglebum, North. I'm sorry, what? New Inglebum, <laughs> New South Wales. Maybe I'm saying it right. Oh, <laughs> Please don't direct your hate mail to me. Comes Whoa. in a sleeve and it's like all together. She's huge. One in the middle, chocolate. Do we just cut pieces of it? Should we get off. a plate? Just snap it off. Is it, is it, Can we snap it? These snap it, just snap it. Oh, it's, it's all pretty solid. Top, pretty solid on the bottom. Oh. Wait, Maybe. Try it out. I think she's gonna grab it. <laughs> what? I think it's Eagle Burn. <laughs> the folks are like, <laughs> <laughs> Eagle Burn, Eagle Bomb, same thing. That sorry. water is really important. Mm. It's really tiny print, and I don't have my glasses on, and I can't see. So sorry, I called your town Eagle Bomb. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean it. <laughs> There's peanuts inside. We have peanuts. We have some kind of fluff chocolate. And marshmallows inside. Marshmallows. Of Kind of There's supposed to be coconut thing. in there on too. The, on the back, you guys can see that. It's on the on the back there. Oh, we have a guest. Welcome, Bill, to the video, everybody. <laughs> Hi, want, everybody. Do you want to try some Australian treats? Sure, I would love to. Do you want to try some rockly roses? Do you want to do them here with us on screen, or do you want to do them in quiet with the other old people? I'll do them right here. <laughs> <laughs> 
since I'm not an old person. Since you're not an old person, I was really just kidding. Mm. So again, oh, and hi, twin. Hi, twin. How are you? Happy oh, birthday. They yeah, shared a birthday. birthday. Hey. <laughs> oh, you guys already ate it without me. Here, do you want to buy this? Yes. Oh. What is it? Or do it I is called Rockley Road. A milk chocolate Rockley or Road. Oh. And it's from Ingleburn. <laughs> What? Ingleburn. Ingleburn. New South Wales. We've got coconut and marshmallows. Oh, Australia. He's I expressive love. like me, look guys. I love Australia. <laughs> you should see all the stuff we've already tried that's in the kitchen. Oh my god. <laughs> what would you rate it? One to ten. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I give a solid nine. The the marshmallow is not too sweet and sugary. The peanuts are a nice offset. Oh, yeah. It looks richer than it tastes. Mm -hmm. The but danger is you can mm -hmm. eat more because... Look how big it is. Mm -hmm. That has a... That's what, that's what most of those mm -hmm. dishes that they... We haven't tried Vegemite yet. Oh, nothing with veggies after this. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's another... do their Vegemite. Okay, I'm done now. Mine. The other loot's in there. Okay. <laughs> Bill's fun. We love him. Okay, so now we're gonna try some more nuts from. Right, it's my turn again. I keep going for everybody. No, it's my turn. Here. I really am afraid Man to try these before the Vegemite. What if we don't like it? All right. I'm gonna do the dark chocolate one because I feel like that might offset some of the pain. Oh, so. Hang on. Hey, Bill. Do you, do you like black licorice? No. Okay. You're the only one what? in the house. <laughs> We're the only one that can That's a weirdo. This accurately. Okay. All right, guys. So these are called bullets from Daryl Lee. Dark chocolate licorice. Oh my God. Contains molasses. Mm -hmm. The anxiety and the fear I feel. So it's black licorice inside. It's Although awesome. the chocolate smells kind of nice. I don't hate the smell of the chocolate. That could go down easier. That's what's a pill. You can swallow like a pill. Stuck together. Here we go. And you don't like dark chocolate. It's kind of like a double-edged sword, isn't it? Really it looks like stuff. a chocolate Mike and Ike. It does kind of look like that, doesn't it? Or a good and plenty. Mm. Yeah. Guys. Mm -mm, you swallow it. Because you made me eat the whole square of the last one. You swallow it. Yeah. I need you to man up. You're being dramatic. I have an observation. I guess it's fun. I actually think that's better than the first one because the dark chocolate on the outside. Are you kidding me? I won't eat any more. Let's not get crazy. <laughs> this is going back to Gainesville. It? Oh, it's going down like a hard pill. I'm not chewing that anymore. All right, let's do the, actually, let's do the licorice twist. Might as well do it while we're... While we're the black ones or the red? We didn't what? rate it. Oh, what do you rate it? Zero. I would say about a seven. I don't like the chocolate on it. Uh, I mean, I think it should be licorice or it should be, be chocolate. Nope, I'm not sure if that combination works for me. The chocolate was good. That's why I give it a four. Okay, let's, let's do this one. Listen, guys. This is my favorite kind of licorice. I like the red licorice. I asked for a red licorice. This is a lot of black. I'm kind of feeling like they like Jimmy better. Let's be super real right now. But, just kidding. Do it. In the meantime, we have, <laughs> we have added some Woolworths <laughs> and Coles. They sent us. Woolworths is still in Australia? Oh. Still around? I'm trying to divert the. They sent us these <laughs> so we can see the products that they have in Australia and the pricing to kind of compare what what we have. I really don't want to do this. Do you want to share one? I was one? just trying to delay the inevitable. I don't want to do this. Do you want to share one? It smells really good. It like smells you, good. Buy, buy half of it, it off and give me the other half. I know it. it's so bad. Here, just. You want me to buy half and give just, you the rest? Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, alright, alright. I'm not eating this whole thing. That's fine. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. It's soft. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, man. Turn this up. Mm. <laughs> it's good. It's like the old fashioned, old timey licorice. Oh, you get. man. Just a little bit. Okay. It's chewy. It's chewy. I mean, it has good. It, it Don't eat the whole touch. thing, because then I have to. What are you doing? There you go. Swallow it. I 
I'm oh. going to kick your ass. <laughs> I'll take the beating. It's terrible. You realize you just had to take a bite of that. That was good. You didn't have to eat the. I'm not doing it. <sighs> I'm gonna power through. Oh, it's good. I still can't swallow a little oh, bit. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I don't know why you guys don't like it. Melted rubber. Yes. <laughs> so glad Bill's here. Look, guys. Okay, now we're gonna eat the good stuff. That's traumatizing. We still ate it. Oh, I ate mine. You didn't eat yours. You ate a label. The little mouse got into it. Oh, this is raspberry. This, this is, is a good liquor. Whoops, here we go. So this is these are raspberry twists. I'm gonna clear my oh yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. There it is. There it is. Mmm. Life is back up to a seven or eight again. Man, that's good. It's soft. It's not too tart. Mm. Fruity. Give us a hand, everybody. You'll like that one. Thank you, raspberry. Mm-hmm. I gotta be honest, I don't like it. Don't care. We had a lot of black licorice for you. <laughs> Finish it. Yeah, you eat it. We had a lot of black licorice for you. Chew it up. That was good. What do we rate it? Might be back up to the seven category again. Really? Nine. I love red licorice and the soft, like the Australian kind. Mm, mm, mm. It's two. I do not like it at all. That makes me like, really happy. Like the chewiness is good, like, so like like black, but the flavor isn't doing it for me. That just means I don't have to share it. Like, it, like I feel like there's not a lot of flavor there to it. It's mm -hmm. almost like, it's, it's this really light flavor, but the flavor I don't, I don't like, I don't like raspberry really in the way, but. So we're gonna pause and prepare the Vegemite. Let's be super honest with each other. We were eating the rest of those sweet chili chips. Oh, we were waiting for the toast to cook. They're delicious, aren't they? No. For the love. All right, so far. Should we do nuts first or should we do this first? No, we need to do this first. We need okay. the real thing first because then we have to suffer through the nuts if we don't like it. Okay. I want everybody in the comment section to give Bill all the props because he really didn't want to do this, but he is a big boy now <laughs> because he ate black olives yesterday. And I share that sentiment because I also do not enjoy them. So I'm proud of his bravery. Wait a second. And, and yeah, but it was wait, delicious. Somebody ate guacamole who's never had an entire life. Guacamole and Andy had he had a palate of a two had before. That's true. He eats never more mind. than you do. That's right. Okay. Wait, my hmm? I, what? I eat more than him? Yeah. Does it show? <laughs> no. I didn't think so. No. We are twins. He's just they are. Taller. Can you see the resemblance? Jeez. I'm just so. Hey both, today is their oh. Happy birthday. Oh, thank you. Why well, you walked in here while we were filming? I didn't say happy birthday. Happy birthday. They're like the same birthday. The twins. So, my dad wants to see and smell it first before he decides to be a big boy too. My mom said, you know, <clears throat> to the no. She's not going to do it. So, we're going to try the Vegemite. We're all going through this because Jimmy requested it. Let's all collectively thank him for this. Thanks, pal. Yay! Thank you. Value friendship. Ooh. Oh, I thought it was wetter than that. It looks like... This also means you have to eat your entire piece of toast because this is your fault. <laughs> looks like... It's like a like, tar. Mm -hmm. I don't, don't smell it. I don't, think, I don't think you stir it. I think it's just actually... You smell it. So, oh, that does not... <laughs> that does not smell like I wanted it to. <laughs> but it, basically, it's concentrated yeast extract. I just put salt. You want to smell it? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's put it on. Um, it smells like so stone vitamins. It's supposed to start light. No, it does not. It's like vitamins. It's not vitamins. It's like vitamins. That's what I thought. Uh, so vitamins. they told so us not. in the email to, ooh, gross. Uh, it's, it's thicker than I thought it was going to be. I thought it would be a little bit thicker than that. They told us to try it with just a little bit. Beth apparently likes it really thick, but I don't know what constitutes that, a little but bit. Like, real thin. Look, real thin. thin. Look how big. But look, but look how big the piece of thing is. A little dab will do. you see that? A little dab. Okay. Yeah, I'll try it. I may have. Oh no. You need to add that. You can have the one with the bigger dab. Okay. I'll eat that one. I'll do more than that. Yeah, put more. You need to put a little bit more on that corner. Do you do you have do you have commentary that I'm getting from behind me right now? These are all her boys. Except there's one off camera too. They're all boys. Gosh. Yeah. Are you gonna? Okay. I want to see how much you put on yours, big boy. Oh, this is all mine. Ah. Uh -huh. Well, I'm, I have a feeling I'm gonna. Ooh, oh, yeah. that's a lot. Look, that. Look who's brave. Hey, you gotta go in and get it. I, I, you've eaten balut. 
What are you talking the about? The lamb is delicious. Have one and a half. Just have one and a half. For you and me, right? Oh. I'm, I'm, I'm I've, had, I've eaten grasshoppers and the whole thing. You have okay. to do your own piece. I'm going to cut that in half for us. Okay. That's what you're making it for me. It looks, it like, looks uh, like chocolate, but yeah. like Nutella. Nutella. But it doesn't smell anything like Nutella. It smells like Nutella with a vitamin. Vitella. All right, guys. <clears throat> Literally. <laughs> Down the hatch. Cheers. Oh, that's salty. Not bad. No, salty. But that's really salty. It is bad. You put too much. No, I'm going to say it's really salty. Oh, gosh. I'm not trying to salt it home. No. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't taste like you. It doesn't taste like food. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Try another bite and skip. I mean, I got. They say, they say the more you eat, the better it tastes. It's salty. Mm, great. I'm sorry, Bill. I won't throw up on you. I'm not at all. It's salty this time. Of all the people, oh, there was a I'm the one that's not freaking out. I'm great. <laughs> there was something in there. I'm not convinced this is food. <laughs> that was bitter. Is this a mean joke? I need to know, guys. <laughs> I don't know, this is almost like. I don't. Are you eating the whole piece? I don't want to yeah, smell it. This is almost it. like a whiskey. The more you, it, you get a bit more of the taste after a minute. I can't believe you're eating that. You like it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very salty. And everything I have eaten in all of Asia and tried, I've never spit anything out. I almost threw that up. There was some bitter something in there with the salt that. How did it like, start? Who? Who? What? Which means oh. I'm not eating these. It's a flavor that languishes a bit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lunching languishes. <laughs> Is that lingering with anguish? Yes. I honestly cannot finish this. Seriously, do you need water? All that stuff was the excellent. The key is, I'm going to wait until I wonder much. if I wouldn't finish it. You can't spread too much. Do you really you like right? that? Yeah. I spread it out. Are you just trying to make us look bad? I don't like it, but I don't dislike it. I don't, I'm not sure what to think about it. I wish that butter one back. No, the butter. That's, that's yeah, the key. That Put the butter is. and don't spread too much. She spreads it thick. Beth, mm -hmm. They said Beth likes it Beth, thick. Beth, how do you do this? Like, I, can't. I can't. I'm sorry, can't. guys. Oh no. What's weird is that it's actually not that old. It's made in 1923. It invented this Oh. I'd... What would you rate it, Bill? One to ten. Two. <laughs> He's done. <dumb. laughs> I'm sorry. It's gonna end uh. one. Uh uh. Oh. I really, really wanted like, to like it. It activated my I need to throw yeah, up sure. reflex. You would give it a six or a seven? I really wanted to like it. Did she really taste the Vegemite and fall out? No. No. She knocked over a bunch of plastic cups. I actually think that that's the kind of thing that over time or taste for. You have to grow up with it too. Yeah. Well, they said it start out small and then it get thicker and thicker and thicker. Yes. And people, do you want me to leave this one? Because I'm not going to eat this. No. no oh God, bread. I, I can't. I'd eat with butter toast, but I don't need to eat on bread. Look, B vitamins. Thanks. Merry Christmas. I, I really wanted to like this because it's, it's such a distinct Australian thing. I, I can't. Soy sauce with vitamins. Ooh, yeah. What was? Soy sauce and vitamins. It's, thick. it's a faint. It's a faint. <laughs> All right. Sure. No. Okay. I am so proud of you. And, and you, I'm proud of the men right now. What about me? I ate guacamole yesterday. You are weird. You don't like guacamole, but you like Vegemite. It's really mm. strange. Like hot and salty peanuts. It just smells like peanuts. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is it interesting? That's yeah, very interesting. I'm just... I, I'll have some more. Those are pretty good. It's not as strong as the others. Are you lying to me just to get me to try it? It's not bad. It's not like peanuts. It's just really, it's, it's like, really, 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 sal like really, really salty it's peanuts. It's actually one. You get a little of that vegetable. Hot and salty peanuts. Mm -hmm. You get a little of that. Like that. <laughs> oh, what is it? Why can't oh, we go to the can, can handle that? Mm. That was something else. Well, <laughs> this went awry. <laughs> Overall, I give the box an eight. Because everything else was pretty solidly good. The chips especially were amazing. The Vegemite. Mm -hmm. Wasn't bad. Not. Nah, wasn't bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one out of three, yeah. really liked it. It's great. But yeah. I think it would have been almost a solid 10 for me, that box. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was, it was fantastic. It's just that Vegemite just brought it down so quick. Oh. 
I, I don't know how you guys do it, but I, I, I definitely can. I, I applaud I you. Can't, I cannot Because do it. Beth puts it on there thick. I don't know how you get it down because yuck. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and trying all of the Australian snacks. Let us know in the description or in the comment section what we pronounced incorrectly, if we ate something wrong. Sorry, Inglebum. <laughs> yeah. Kind of or else we can try. That, yeah, or let us know if there's anything else we should try. Or if you live in a different country and we haven't done a box from your country yet and you want to send us one, we also have our P.O. box down in the description bar. Mm -hmm. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And check out the description box for all of the group cruise information, our merch, and the travel podcast. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. See ya. Bye. Bye. It's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? You love me. I do love you. I have no choice. Well, it looks like we just gifted you a. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good, right? You right. feel like an idiot, but it works. I love it. I'm, I'm good at that every day. Because if you do actual picture, you gotta recrop it and it cuts it everything off. It takes forever. This is the exact size of a thumbnail you need for you. That's what everybody does. Everybody's like, and thumbnail. <laughs> Grab your Vegemite. Why did you move? I don't know. Because I wanted to tell everybody to watch here. This is rustling. Jeff Jeff is sitting there. He's got his hands all over. Put you right into the camera. Y'all are jealous. That was the teaser. I finished it. Yeah, I know. I was gonna say, so grab your koalas and a blankie. Grab your koalas and a. I don't know. Well, koalas though with the fires. Anyway. Oh, they sent us a koala baby. See, he was right. Koalas and blankies. Look how freaking cute he is. He's sitting right here in front. He is so <gasps> He has a hoodie. Put it's it a teddy bear with a koala bear outfit on. <laughs> oh, <laughs> his feet. My his god. Feet so Look at This is gonna end up as a bloopers. And be like, Bing.